Uh, hi people, I'm Heron from Heron Fox Farm and I'm here in Chico at our orchard. I thought I'd do a little video. I've got some customers wanted me to do some videos of our farm and uh, I was gonna walk around the orchard and show you guys what we're up to and uh, wanted to dispel some myths about almonds and uh, so I'm gonna walk around show you guys and uh, talk ab about this um so i hope you like this and if you do um give me a leave me a comment and ask me uh, tell me if you want me to do some more videos and if you want more information and uh yeah i just got my hair cut so i thought <laughs> that maybe this would be a good time to do a video so uh here we go uh this is our orchard it's uh 27 acres and we've been farming here. Our family's been doing this for four generations. Um, I took over this orchard in 2011, so about 11 years. And you can see it's really lush right now. We're at the, it's the end of September and um, we keep a year round ground cover in our orchard and it's, it's very green. And um, it's basically all wild plants so we got clover dandelions uh some other various weeds and you can see uh, there's a dandelion <laughs> some clovers um and i you know i far i strongly believe that the soil is uh the uh, of the utmost important for farming and um whereas you know we're we're organic and we, I'm building the soil every year. We're literally adding about six tons of compost per acre every year to build the soil and add nutrients. And 100% of the nutrients that these almonds grow on is coming from the compost and the soil. Whereas at conventional orchards, the, the orchard floor is bare. There's nothing growing except for the trees and all their nutrients are coming from chemical fertilizers. And um, they use the tons of uh, Roundup on the orchard floor to keep it bare. And they don't even care about the soil at all. The soil is just there to hold the trees up as far as most farmers are concerned. But I feel the opposite. Like this soil is, is where it's at. And um, the more healthier we can keep our soils, the better off where our planet's going to be and the more nutrients that the food we eat is going to have so and um, we've done some studies with the uc davis and some other universities where looking at regenerative uh, agriculture and specifically almonds and um, they compared the soil in my orchard and the microorganisms and diversity in the soil to some conventional farms and the results are were amazing and maybe I'll do another video and I'll show you the guys those re those results but um for now I, re I really wanted to talk about this myth that almonds are using up all the water in California and it takes a gallon of water to grow one almond and I really I don't believe that's true at all I I've done the math looking at how much water we use um, we have a variable drive pump for our well and it's all computer controlled and it monitors the soil. We have probes down in the soil, goes down four feet and it measures the moisture in the soil at four feet, three feet, two feet and one feet deep. And it tells us exactly when we need to water and how much we need to water. So I know I have that information and I've done, I know exactly how much uh, nuts that these trees produce and so I've done the math and I found that it probably takes about less than a quarter of a gallon of water to grow uh, an almond and I won't say that there's no uh, farms that are using four times that amount of water uh, to try to grow bumper crops but I'm certainly not doing that and um, almonds are native to Iran and they're one of the most drought tolerant trees there are. You can, I'm gonna show you some walnuts too across the street, but um, you can see how small the leaves are on the almond trees. 
um, and that's indicative of a plant that's drought tolerant. Um, if you, that's why cactuses have needles; they don't have leaves because uh, leaves basically do the transpiration of moisture in the air. And the bigger the leaves are, the the more transpiring is going to happen. And the smaller the leaves are, the more drought tolerant the trees are. Um, you can see almonds are very have very small leaves. Um, they're smaller trees than uh, walnuts and many other types of nuts and almonds are actually the most drought tolerant nut there is even uh, peanuts which aren't even nuts they use a heck of a lot more water than almonds do uh, walnuts take more water pistachios hazelnuts anything you can think of and if you compare the amount of protein in an almond compared to any other source of protein you're gonna see that almonds actually take less water to grow that amount of protein Another thing that almonds have going on is uh, they have a hull, which is like almonds are related to peaches and the, they, the, the almond itself is the seed of this peach like fruit. And then there's a shell around the seed and then around that is the fruit, which is basically like a dried up brown peach skin. And that's called the hull and so at, after harvest the hulls get taken off and they go to uh, organic dairy farms and the cows eat them and they love them they're extremely high in protein uh, which the cows need to make the milk and so that's a byproduct of the growing almonds that goes to feeding cows producing milk dairy and there's a uh, many other benefits as well like uh Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me do something. Okay, so I got I found an almond on the ground that uh, missed the harvest pickup, but um, you can see this is on the outside is the hull, and it's like a kind of a shriveled up peach skin, and the cows absolutely love these things. Um, so these get pulled off, and then that's the shell inside, and then uh, inside that is the almond. But um, they actually, if if I left this, which I will, I'll leave it on the ground. And if it didn't get mowed up, this would sprout and grow into an almond tree. Uh, the, this shell would split in half and the almond would, the pointy end of the almond would grow a root out. And then the other end would sprout a little tr tree trunk and you'd have a baby almond tree. And that's the, um, that, that just shows you how resilient these almonds are in that they, they can sit on the ground out here in the orchard in the mud basically all winter long getting rained on and they would grow in the spring into an almond tree and they will not mold they will not get uh, they will not turn all nasty they would be fine they would actually be edible uh, and so there's this uh, everybody thinks everything needs to be sterilized and uh you know fumigated and pasteurized and it's just a bunch of nonsense almonds have they're they're basically wild trees i mean they've been domesticated but they're they're a wild tree uh i mean they could survive in the wild many of them do i see wild ones growing along the creek and odd places just sprouted up and growing um and they they're not they don't succumb to pathogens and bacteria and things like they they have a natural resistance to that kind of things and what it is is it i call them enzyme inhibitors which are in the skins of the almond and they that's actually uh they 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 repel things like bacteria and things that would would try to attack the seed and because this is a this is nature the the almonds want to survive they want to grow into an, a new almond tree and so they're not going to just let some pathogen come and stop that process of nature that's not the way it works um so i wanted to dispel that myth um that almonds unpasteurized or unhealthy or dirty or contaminated or any of that that's not true they're completely safe and healthy they're actually way more healthy when they're in the raw alive state 
than anything that's been fumigated or pasteurized and is no longer alive okay so um anyways back to the water issue uh the almonds like i'm going to show you these walnuts across the street and you can see the walnut trees they're actually harvesting the walnuts right now well that's that's another thing is that we only water the, these almond trees about three months out of the year and they have a kind of a quick growing season where they they bloom really early in the year like february march and at that time we're still getting rains there's no need to water the trees the only time we need to water them is when the actual nuts are forming and which is which is happens very quickly and it's only about may june july and and a little bit into august and um right now we're in september we're done watering these this orchard we're not watering this again until next may maybe april if it doesn't rain but um and you can see how green it is this is i mean it did rain here a week or two ago but um they like the, we only water three maybe four months out of the year whereas walnuts or any other crop you can think of is going to take a heck of a lot longer growing season and uh like they're these walnuts across the street over here you can see the leaves are huge on these things and they're they have this kind of tropical look to them they're not native to the desert like almonds are these things need a lot of water and uh, like i don't want to um I don't want to diss walnuts too much because I love walnuts and I sell them but um you can see how big these leaves are and they're like really soft and like these things are gonna these trees take a lot more water and they're huge they're huge trees whereas the almonds across the street a lot much smaller more drought tolerant trees um they're actually harvesting these walnuts right now today um, and this this is usually the first walnut orchard they harvest um you can see there they are on the ground get, get ready to pick up um, and um so one of my, my point is that walnuts they're gonna have to water these trees they're still watering them they're gonna be watering these trees for a, another month or two maybe you know some of these walnut orchards around here won't be harvested for probably another six weeks maybe even two months and the whole time they're going to have to be watered so that's like another th three months of watering the orchard that the almonds do not need um so <laughs> you can see the almonds are going to take a lot less water to grow um also the the walnuts you can see they're much bigger nuts bigger holes they have the holes around the nuts too although the holes on these things the cows can't eat them nothing eats this stuff they're so high in tannic acid that they're not edible. And, uh, you know, nothing wants to eat that whole. Anyways, so that's a benefit of almonds, in my opinion. I mean, that's not an opinion, it's a fact. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it for now. I might make some more videos soon. Um, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and like seeing our orchard and um yeah drop me a comment or subscribe to my channel if i make a channel i don't know but uh yeah i i had fun making it hope you guys had fun watching it all right be well